Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. It's Mitch from Smart PE, and today I'm going to be looking at a smarter way to interpret a heart rate graph. Now in particular, the heart rate graph we're going to be looking at is related to a continuous training session. Now let me break down the graph very quickly for you. On the y-axis, the one that goes from top to bottom, that is heart rate, measured in beats per minute. And on the x-axis, which goes from left to right along the bottom, that is time. So let's look at breaking this graph down. This first part here we would identify as being resting heart rate. A typical resting heart rate for an individual will be around 60 to 80 beats per minute. This next section of the graph we could assume would be the anticipatory rise. Now the anticipatory rise happens before exercise. You will be able to identify it on a graph because it's quite a small increase. It's not really steep. Now, as this happens before exercise, the main reason it happens is to increase heart rate and blood pressure, which will increase oxygen delivery to working muscles. And it is a hormone actually that that uh, that causes this. And the hormone is is adrenaline. Obviously, it's really important. So before you've even started exercising, your body is starting to respond and prepare you for the exercise that you're about to do. We would then assume that this point here is when exercise has begun. The graph rises quite steeply. Now here, heart rate increases pure and simply to supply blood containing oxygen to working muscles for energy. What we then find during a continuous session is we will start to get a period where heart rate will start to level out. And we actually call this a plateau. Now here we can assume that intensity has remained the same as there is enough blood containing oxygen being sent to working muscles for energy. So the graph isn't rapidly rising or decreasing. Your body is able to deal with the demand of the exercise that you are doing. We then know that this point here, this is when exercise stops because after this point, heart rate decreases rapidly. Now, heart rate decreases as the demand for oxygen decreases. And what we'll also notice is that this final point just here is the heart rate hasn't quite reached the resting heart rate value, which was somewhere in the region of 65 beats per minute at the very start. Now, we would assume then that this particular athlete hasn't had enough time to recover fully. So scan another QR code to be able to interpret another heart rate graph.